Beautiful Diamond Head, near spectacular Waikiki Beach, a must-see destination for millions of tourists each year. Also a few minutes from the University of Hawaii campus. College Football on CBS Sports Network is presented by Old Trapper Beef Jerky. Tonight from the Clarence T.C. Ching Athletics Complex in Honolulu, the site of the season opener for Stanford of the Pac-12. Game two for the Rainbow Warriors of the Mountain West. Aloha and welcome to Honolulu. Great to have you with us. Dave Ryan alongside the Super Bowl champ and Robert Turbin of the Seattle Seahawks. I love the shirt. You're looking good. I appreciate that. Thank good you. Good to be with you this year, yes, man. Absolutely. It's going to be a lot of fun. I know Stanford fans are having pretty good feelings right now about getting to the ACC. It's big news along with Cal and SMU today. Yeah, it's huge. We spoke to Coach Taylor last night and he expressed how, he, how Stanford deserved to be a Power 5 school. He got his wish today. So you talk about Hawaii played well last week at Bandy, came really close to one score game against an SEC team in Nashville and a brand new start with Troy Taylor at Stanford. Yeah, well, Troy Taylor has found a way to win everywhere he's gone. Finished his career at Sac State last year, 30 and eight over the course of four seasons. Stanford Cardinal are happy about their new head coach. So year two, Timmy Chang, but the run and shoot is back. It's got a great history here at Hawaii. Some unbelievable numbers, including Timmy Chang when he was a QB here for this Hawaii program. Now Braden Shager leads the charge. He's a talented QB. Well, he's a talented QB, and Timmy Chang is no stranger to the run and shoot offense, an offense that he's been a part of since he was in the seventh grade. That came, those are words that came out of his mouth. Braden Shager being able to navigate this offense well. Played well last week. They sure did. Kerb has 351 yards passing, three touchdowns, and a really good game, a one score loss against the Commodores of the SEC. Now you talk about Stanford. David Shaw, the all time winningest coach, 96 wins and a three time Pac 12 coach of the year. He has moved on. Troy Taylor takes over. A wide open offense is what he's got in mind. Well, he's got an up tempo offense in mind, and it's been really well. It's worked well everywhere that he's gone. Still want to be prevalent in the run game. It's just going to be a different dynamic, right? Stanford used to being a power type offense. Now you're going to see a lot of runs out of the spread. And Benjamin Urasek is the top weapon coming back, a star tight end for Stanford. He's a star tight end. Coach Taylor talked about him last night. The best thing that they love about Urasek is his ability to get yards after the catch, make guys miss, and get down the field. Big numbers led all tight ends in the nation last year with a Cardinal production from the tight end spot, preseason all Pac-12 second teamer. He'll be the top weapon tonight for Stanford. We're not sure who the quarterback's gonna be, but Urasic will be a big weapon for the offense from here in Honolulu. More coming up. Flags fly at half mast here in Oahu in honor of the Maui wildfire victims. Native Hawaiian cultural practitioners are leading a statewide one day vigil today to aid the emotional and spiritual healing of those on Maui who suffered devastating loss from wildfires that swept through Lahaina and other areas of the island on August 8th. Moments ago, Kahu Hailama Fart offered a prayer in Hawaiian for the victims. E ho e mako ka upo e ohana e kune i muo i ke ia ahi ahi. Ke ho nani ho mai ka i milia ni ho sana kune i mako ia o e ke ia la. O ia i mako e kune i ke ia kahu a pa ani ma ke kula nui o hawa i ma manoa. E ho o laule a nei ke ia pa ani po peku. Ke kua, nao no e ho po mai ka ia mako pa kahi a pau. Na mea ho, na mea pa ani, na kahu, na kumu. In support of those affected by the Maui fires last month, the Hawaii football team will display the Maui County logo on helmets throughout the season. Student athletes we see here tonight, and the staff wearing the Maui Strong t-shirts showing their love for the entire Maui community. With heavy hearts, but with support. The Hawaii football program gets ready for its second game of the season. Tough loss at Vandy to open up the year. Coming into the Ching Athletics Complex, a whiteout here tonight. And a great atmosphere for the home opener for Hawaii. Stanford won the toss, electing to defer. Hawaii will get the ball first. Camp Stone deep to receive here. The transfer from Wyoming handles most of the return duties for the Rainbow Warriors. Josh McCarty, All-American kicker, will handle those for the Cardinal here. First team All-American last year with tremendous range. For new coach Troy Taylor, a light rain falls, 
great atmosphere and energy. A sun shower here in Honolulu. Underway, Pac-12 Mountain West. Star watches that go through the end zone for a touchback. And Hawaii will get it at its own 25 to begin the game here tonight. Braden Shager, junior from Dallas, runs the run and shoot. Rainbow Warriors piled up 391 yards of total offense last week at Fandy. Jimmy Chang decided to move full time to the run and shoot. Midway point last year, and since then, the offense has really been cooking. Shager continues to grow, one of the top quarterbacks in the Mountain West, pro skill set. Big game. Last week, he told us yesterday, Robert, big fan of Tom Brady growing up. Big fan of Tom Brady, loves the way that he played growing up, his poise, and obviously all the championships that he's won. Looking to have a similar career over the course of his. Tylen Hines, feature back. And Shager on first down. Time. Pressure off the edge. Shager creates on the move. A deep ball. And looking for Hines there out of the backfield. Near midfield, falls incomplete. Yeah, dangerous pass right there. Quarterback's always coached. If you're rolling out to one side, you see there he's rolling out to his right side. You never want to throw the ball across the field. A lot of times it ends up in an interception. They're able to avoid one right there. Mose, Tonu Vasa, Ta'ala. Talented offensive line for Hawaii. Last year ran for only 137 yards a game, 85th in the nation. Better numbers through the air against Vandy last week in week one. Run and shoot football in Honolulu is back. And Shager with a rain falling on second down. Hines, it's incomplete. That's been a loss anyway, third and long coming up. Yeah, that time Shager wanted to hit the slant route over across the middle. Stanford defense played that well, went out to Hines there for the check down. A little bit late, weren't able to connect right there, bringing up third down. Extra protection for the big guy here, Robert. Solo by Pulu, 280-pound senior from Riverside, California. Number zero, also the backup center on the offensive line. He's one big dude. Yeah, you mentioned it, former center, but able to understand pass protection from the backfield, can do a couple of different dynamic things. Don't be surprised you see the ball in his hands tonight. Watch for McBride, number seven, bottom of your screen. Instead goes the other way for it, and broken up and incomplete. And punting situation coming up here. Looking for Alex Perry. Likely a hard hit there from Tristan Sinclair, linebacker Robert. Incomplete pass. Yeah, great job there by the Stanford defense. Likely would have been short of the first town anyways had he caught it, but starting to see the impact of some of these sunshine showers coming in here on the field. Matthew Shipley, for the top first punt of the year last week at Vandy, a zero net yard kick that led to a Commodore touchdown. He's the field goal PA kicker and the punter. It's a step to his right. AC Filkins, reserve running back. Deep to receive that kick, which is not good. Out of bounds. Let's see the spot. All the way at midfield. Yeah, not a great punt. You mentioned it. Zero net punt to start the game last week against Vandy. Starting the game a little bit shaky here as well, giving the Stanford Cardinal great field position to begin their offensive drive. 25 yard kick. So who is gonna be the quarterback? It is Ashton Daniels. Troy Taylor kept it very quiet, did not name the starter. This week, 10 games last year for Daniels, backing up for Tanner McKee, who was a draft pick of the Philadelphia Eagles, and a two year starter. Daniels first career start. Play fake to Filkins, passing on the move. Urasik, the star tight end, is lit up. Big hit. Elijah Palmer, the nickelback, freshman from Vegas, first career start and first career big play. Yeah, getting the start today, nice tackle on one of the best tight ends in the country. Play fake to Filkins again. Here's the deep ball. That's out of bounds and incomplete. Lydia Rubin, sophomore from Kansas City on the go route. On the sideline, good coverage from Cam Stone, the Wyoming transfer. Well, I got to say, I love the, the, the how Troy Taylor is starting this game. Ashton Daniels getting his first opportunity. Two pass plays in a row, trying to install, instill some confidence in the young quarterback. Sophomore from Buford, Georgia. Three-time Class 6A state championship game MVP. Done a lot of winning in the high school level. First career start, FBS level here tonight. Here's third down. Going to run with it. Tripped up. Hit there, Jonah Kahahawai Welch got enough 
of the QB Daniels. And a gain of one looks like a punting situation here for Stanford. Yeah, Jonah, 10 starts last season. Led the team in tackles for loss with seven and a half. Able to get off a block right there and make a great play on the quarterback. Connor Wesselman, punt this year for Stanford, replacing four-year starter Ryan Sanborn. Last year, punted 57 times for a 46-yard average. Junior from Atlanta and Stone. Timmy Chang told us yesterday, our best get in the transfer portal from Wyoming of the Mountain West is the return man. Certainly a guy they have a lot of confidence in. As we've got some stoppage there on the field. Delay of game. Well, that's the Cardinal five. Getting back to Cam Stone, very dynamic corner for Hawaii, but also a great man in the return game. Seven kickoff returns last season for him. You see him out there, punt return right now. Let's see if he can get loose. From five yards back, Wesselman. Stone watches that go over his head. Looking for a bounce into the end zone, and we'll get it for a touchback. A wise second possession from its 20 when we come back to Honolulu. Roy Taylor's debut as Stanford head coach tonight. College football on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Old Trapper Beef Jerky. What's your beef? By my plan from Verizon. The plan for fans. And by Geico. For all your insurance needs, it's easy to Geico. Absolutely gorgeous. Waikiki Beach, Honolulu, Hawaii. Stanford and the Rainbow Warriors underway. Robert, let's check your keys for tonight. For Stanford, it's about handling the adversity. They're a young football team. Got to be able to overcome those. Limit the deep ball by the Hawaii offense. Tylen Hines, second series. Another game here for Hawaii. Not much there. Tristan Sinclair has been active early. 37 tackles last year. One of six Stanford interceptions defensively. Three win Stanford season. Robert looking for a big bounce back on the farm with Troy Taylor taking over. The program lost its last five games last year. Yeah, lost their last five games last season. And, you know, talking to Coach Troy Taylor last night, just want to focus on the strengths of the team and build from there. One game struggle last week at Vandy. Hines tries again. Left side more room this time. Trucks upfield before he's cut down by Anthony Franklin. Junior from Phoenix. 12 games for him last year. Gain of five. Sets up third down. Yeah, nice job by Hines here. Pressing the edge right there, getting downhill. Something that Hawaii wants to see a little bit more of. Weren't able to accomplish that on a consistent basis last week against Vanderbilt. Not third and long. This team trying to get going here offensively tonight. Jager coming off a career game. Some heat hit as he throws. Ashlock couldn't bring it in. He's out of bounds on the sideline, incomplete. Good pressure from Kennelly off the edge it was all over Brayden Shager. That time Shager did a nice job getting outside of the pocket. Looks as if the ball was just a little bit out of his reach to be able to keep one foot down. Now we're in a fourth down situation. You know, I asked Troy, Coach Troy Taylor, I said, you know, what is it about your philosophy that, is, that has allowed you to rebuild programs the way that you have? And I have our official we, review here, partner, and take a look. The question is, Ashlock with that right toe, did he get that in first with possession before he's out of bounds? Now, clearly the left foot is not going to be anywhere close, but the toe with possession, what do you think? Looks to me the right foot is down Ooh, as close. he possesses the football right there. Close. Terry Layden, our replay official. Hard to tell from this angle. Call incomplete on the field. Got to be overwhelming, convincing video evidence to overturn the call. Yeah, that's the question. I mean, it's got to be real obvious for them to overturn this call.
tough to tell from those two angles. For sure. Angelo coming off a huge game. Seven catches, 127 yards at Bandy, a touchdown last week. The freshman from Euless, Texas, Mountain West Freshman of the Week for good reason. Well, you talk about a heck of a way to start off your career in Man. college football. That's one way to do it. Became Braden Shager's number one target quickly, specifically in that fourth quarter as they were roaring back against Vanderbilt. Just fell short. First Mountain West freshman, 100 yards in his debut since a guy named Devontae Adams, now with Las Vegas. Getting passes from Derek Carr, Fresno State in 2012. Full control, right toe down. What do you think here, Robert? It's really hard to tell there. Now it looks like he has the football. And, and I got to be honest, it looks like his right toe is down to me, Dave. I, it's, it's close. It's hard to see, but I think this might be an overturn. After further review, the ruling of an incomplete pass. Stands. Fourth down. All right, 0 for 1. I'm going to keep track, Robert. <laughs> it was close. It was really close in your defense, no doubt about well, it. I, just, I, I think there wasn't enough evidence yeah. to overturn it. Therefore, punt situation for Hawaii. Casey Filkins, who led Stanford in rushing last year, before suffering an injury, is back to receive this punt first. And the game from Shipley was short, just 25 yards, went to midfield. A lot of question marks in Palo Alto about this team. New coach, new era. Nice kick. Filkins wants and gets the fair catch inside the 30. Timeout on the field. 50 yard punt. That's a lot better for Matthew Shipley. Shager, as we talked about, took a pop from Kennelly a moment ago after releasing that pass. Bash luck. It's a new era on the farm, Palo Alto, California. Troy Taylor takes over. Comes from Sac State, Robert, led the Hornets to a 23-1 league record in his three years. Three-time Big Sky Coach of the Year. A new start replacing legendary coach David Shaw. Well, he's a heck of a coach and instilling a brand new offense here at Stanford, wanting to be spread out, wanting to be up-tempo. You know, the big question mark is, do you have the personnel to be able to execute that this season? Daniels, his quarterback. Troy Taylor told us yesterday his QB is going to run as Tafanga makes a nice play defensively. 12 to 15 times. We'll try to go no huddle. Longest play of the game so far. Well, that was it. Six yards. And we've not talked about the new first down rule yet, Robert, because we haven't right. had a first down. Right. And that changes here. Well, Watch he likes this. to run the quarterback. He feels like it gives him an advantage number-wise against the defense. Play fake. Bachmeyer has the catch. We've got a first down. And the clock will not stop. A brand new rule in college football. Do you like the rule? I love the rule. Keep the game going. And the whole objective is to have shorter games. Each offense will have about five or six less plays each week. Player safety, protecting their health. Key there. Lots of throws. Looks for Bachmeyer. Sideline route. And it's incomplete. Elijah Palmer, the nickel, step for step. The Tiger Bachmeyer, younger brother of former Boise State quarterback, Hank Bachmeyer. And a great athletic family. Well, great coverage by Elijah Palmer. You know, as a receiver, you start, you're, you're, you're taught to stack the corner once you beat him deep. But that time, it was Palmer, the corner. You're taught the same thing. If you're able to get a, a, ahead of the wide receiver, great coverage right there. E.J. Smith, feature back. Son of Emmett Smith. A run instead for Daniels. Trucks ahead, shy of the 45 to the 44. Gains three, sets up third down here for Stanford. Well, I like what Stanford's been doing on this drive, mixing it up with some quick passes and some runs. I love the fact that they're keeping the Hawaii defense honest, though, not afraid to take some deep shots within this offense as well. Feature back this time, partner, is Ryan Butler, the transfer from Princeton. A lot of transfers coming in. First time Stanford history able to do that, trying to level the playing field. Third down, Daniels, the Georgian throws. And a first down. Good pitch and toss. Alec Aya Manor from Medicine Hat, Alberta, Canada has the grab. Chains move here for Stanford. Gain of nine. The clock does not stop. Nice job by Daniels here getting in the pocket, finding his target in an open window, and getting the ball out quickly and converting for a first down. First appearance, first pure catch for Alec Aya Manor. The red shirt last year from Canada went to prep at Deerfield Academy in New England. 
And he's a top 10 recruit out of Massachusetts. Play fake, Daniels throws, has a man. Ruben with a catch, and he's lit up. Big hit. Palmer living up to the billing of what coaches told us yesterday. It's a gain of seven. Palmer with a big hit right there. Looked like Ruben was trying to make a move. Slipped on his feet there. Nice tackle. Big play. Logan Taylor, one of five team captains, jets into the backfield. The fast-paced offense here for Stanford. Hawaii's keeping up. Well, you want to talk about the heartbeat. The leader of this defense is Logan Taylor. Every person that I've talked to about this kid talks about him in such high regard. He's the leader of this team. He's the guy that you go to when you need something. Nice to see him have a nice play right there on second down. So we've seen Smith, Filkins, and Ryan Butler feature back third down in plus territory. Here's Daniels. Humphrey's first touch is a first down for Stanford. Steps out of bounds. But the chains will move here for the Cardinal. John Humphreys, 11 games last year at 29 catches. He's a real downfield threat for Stanford this year. Well, he certainly has the size to be able to win those 50-50 balls, and I think you'll see that at some point tonight. The quarterback try to catch him on a nine route. He's able to win on those routes quite often. First down for Stanford. Bachmeyer, motion man, Daniels. High throw, stall the breakup. Cam Stone made a great play. Rudy Rubin, the sophomore from KC, was hit hard. Just as the ball arrived, Stone showing up here. We see Cam Stone reading this route, breaking on the football quickly. Ball just out of the reach of Moody Rubin there. Could have hauled it in, but nice play right there by Cam Stone. Tenth play, Stanford drive. And for the first points of the night here from beautiful Honolulu. Season opener for Stanford on a big day for the Cardinal Athletic Program. Off to the ACC next year. Second down, flag down, play fake to Smith. Looks there for Urasek, who brings it in along the sideline. Let's check out the marker. And it will be a first down for Stanford if it stands. Let's check out the call. Get it 25. Offside. Offside. Defense Defense number 18. 18. That penalty's declined. The result of the play is a first down. The previous play is up. Further review. Well, you're going to see here a nice wheel route by Urasek. Good ball placement. Oh, that's close. I don't know, Robert. Yeah, he's got that left foot down. I don't know if one of his toes might have stepped out of bounds there. Noah Kemma, by the way, senior from Lawrence, Kansas, was offside there for Hawaii, but we've got our second review of the night. I don't think so. The first look to me looked like I did not see any daylight between the left foot and the sideline paint. I have to agree with you there, Dave. I'm already 0 for 1. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew Richards, our referee. We'll confer with our replay judge and Terry Layden press level with us here at the Ching Athletics Complex. I don't think so. That's tight there. That's that's a close one. That's closer than the last one. It's so all one about second and ten there, partner. Sorry, we'll be second and five. We're first down at the that pinky toe, right. Dave. Right. That's what it's coming down to. This, these are the benefits of either having a narrow foot or a wide one. See, I'm a wide guy. I'm out of bounds on a play like that. Jurassic preseason, Pac-12 second teamer, 6'4", 242 out of Bakersfield. Saw some of his preseason quotes about getting back to intellectual brutality at Stanford. We've got to be tight end you again, frustrated after another tough season at Stanford last year with the three wins we talked about. Well, they've had some incredible tight ends come through Stanford over the years. You talk about Kobe, Kobe Fleener, some other guys. He wants to continue that high standard for tight ends, playing at the next level, and he certainly looks to be a guy that's on his way. Got to see daylight. 
After further review, the ruling on the field of a completed pass stands. First down, Stanford. The clock will start on my signal. All right. Okay. We're even. <laughs> We're even. Okay. Count it. I'll take that win. A nice, nice red zone. Your yep, sure was. Tonight's red zone being brought to you by Verizon. First and ten here for Stanford at the ten. Stanford in this even set here. Daniels navigates, cuts, launching toward the goal line. Is close. Almost got in about. A half yard line or so, and second down coming up. Yeah, Stanford trying to cash in. Yeah, you see they motion the wide receiver down there, trying to get some blocks. Here's Smith. Touchdown, Stanford. EJ Smith, son of Emmett, has got a TD for the Cardinal. First score of the new season for Stanford. Well, that's got to be a huge confidence booster for Troy Taylor in this Stanford offense. A lot of newness, a lot of young guys. To be able to drive down the field the way that they did, convert a couple third downs, and then eventually get a touchdown, huge for this young football team. And Jay Smith, coaches tell us, elusive, tough, hurt almost all last season. Matthew Shipley, the first team All American kicker. An attack on the PAT for the Cardinals. He's got that, no problem. And Stanford. On a big day in the athletic department history for Stanford, Cal, and SMU off to the ACC. Off to a great start, Robert, here tonight. Smith, the short touchdown run. Smith getting downhill and getting in the end zone. DJ Smith hurt week two against USC last year. And lost for the season. And David Shaw's last year leading the program. First touchdown of the new season for him. Sunday morning, 7 Eastern. They'll miss one of Europe's most heated rivalries. Return of the pitch as Rangers take on Celtic in the old firm derby right here on CBS Sports Network. That's 7 Eastern and 1 Hawaiian time. So, sounds great, right? A little late night soccer for you. Card to kick off. Camp Stone featured deep man for Hawaii down by a score. Stone wants no port of that. And it's through the end zone for a touchback. Take a look at that TD run a moment ago, Robert. Yeah, you see EJ Smith there. Just a simple zone play down the middle of the defense. Right there, it's just all about getting downhill, winning those one-on-one -on -one battles, and really getting a push to get over into the end zone there. And he is a Geico difference maker tonight for the Cardinal. Second leading rusher on the team. Before the injury, had a great start, 100-plus yard game in the season opening win over Colgate of the SES last year. Stanford hopes he stays healthy in 2023. Shager in the offense back in the field, trying to make some noise here. Last lock, low ball, made a nice shoe-top catch. Tripped up after a pretty good play on first down for a white gain of five for the Rainbow Warriors. Yeah, just a simple out route there. Ball a little low, nice catch by Ashlock. Trying to get the ball out quickly. See if they can get some momentum on this drive. Ashlock hurt his senior year in Texas in high school, didn't play. So his first real action in a couple years came last week at Bandy and he lit up the Commodores. Mount West, freshman of the week. Incredible. Here's Hines, he'll run. And run of trouble in Bailey. David Bailey, eight and a half tackles for loss a year ago. Great pursuit, great athlete. Stanford coaches, Robert, raving about him yesterday as a top pro prospect. Yeah, they rave about this guy, his, his speed, his ability to change directions, his ability to bend around the edge, and also does well in the, in the, in the run game, being able to keep the outside edge tight, and you saw an example of it right there. Physical and quick. Bob April the third, the new DC at Stanford, told us yesterday. Loss of five on the TFL. Sets up third and long for Shager. Batted and incomplete. And the Cardinal is going to force another punt here. Defense has been effective in this game so far tonight. Yeah, a lot of question marks about this defensive line going into the football game. But they've been consistent against the run and been consistent so far. And 
putting pressure on Braden Shager and another example of it right here, being able to get his hands up and bat the ball down. Zach Buckley, 6'3", 260, junior from Bakersfield with a mid on that one. Another three and out for Hawaii. And Shipley back on a punt again here to Casey Filkins. Some pressure off the edge. Filkins indicates four and makes the fair catch at the 29. Cardinal coming off the first touchdown of the new season gets the ball back when we return to gorgeous Honolulu. Major headline college athletics today. Stanford Athletics is on the move. News broke this morning at the Cardinal. They offered an accepted invitation to join the ACC. They'll be joined by Cal, who joins the Cardinal departing the Pac-12, and SMU, who leaves the American. All three beginning play in the ACC for the start of the 2024 football season with reports that they'll take a reduced meteorite share. CC Commissioner Jim Phelps said today was a transformational day for the ACC Stanford administration. Positive, Robert, about the move. Bottom line, Troy Taylor told us yesterday, we've got to play Power 5 football. Stanford, our tribal cow, will do that. He's excited about this move, and I think the Cardinal faithful are as well. Here's Smith coming off that touchdown run. Incredible job to leap Peter Manuma. NFL prospect for Hawaii who just got hurtled by Smith. Gain of seven. And looking like his father out there mm -hmm. with the hurdle move. Nice job making a guy miss and getting some extra yards on that play. Stanford looks comfortable after some initial struggles here on our first year quarterback, Ashton Daniels. Jordan Taylor, play caller, quarterback himself, legend at Cal. Amazing stats left as the program's all time leading passer. And after his playing days, play fake for Daniels. Full throw. Bachmeyer intended. And it's broken up and incomplete. Hawaii, they're finally able to get some pressure into the backfield. John Tui Tupo disrupting that pass and forcing a third down. JoJo Forrest, the breakup there, partner. Senior, guardian of California. And 26 tackles a year ago for Hawaii. Rainbow Warriors, just a three-win season. Trying to get back to the excellence when Timmy Chang left this program as the all-time leading pass. Yardage man in NCAA history. Flags here before the handoff and a false start will back up Stanford five. So far been a pretty clean game for Stanford. These are the type of penalties normally young teams face. First one of the night, pretty good so far by the Stanford offense. Well, shit for Alec Iemeyer. Humphreys, top of your screen, always a threat. Another whistle stops play. Timeout called yeah. by Hawaii. Didn't like the alignment they saw with defensive coordinator Jacob Yoro. So timeout for Hawaii's defense. We're back in 30 seconds to Honolulu. Hawaii timeout, Robert, a moment ago. Did you like that play stoppage? They didn't apparently like what they saw the alignment, right? Well, Stanford's offense, we talk about how they want to be up tempo, but they also want to be the type of offense that is doing a lot of shifting and motion. And what that does is cause some confusion there for defenses. And Hawaii not quite lined up the right way, the way that they want it to be, forcing them to use a timeout. Third and eight here for the Cardinal. Pistol for Daniels. Surprise starter. Sideline route. Ruben can't bring it in. Rudy Ruben, good coverage. Cam Stone, the Ohio transfer here in the Mountain West. At punt time here for the Cardinal. There he is again, Cam Stone, showing his lockdown ability. 10 PBUs last season. Not an easy guy to throw the football on. Played in 28 games over three years at Wyoming and Laramie. All Mountain West, I will mention. Tied for second in the league with those 10 pass breakups a year ago. Musselman punts here again for Stanford. And Stone, aforementioned, back to receive a kick. He'll be busy all night for Timmy Chang. Whistles first. And a false start for Stanford. After playing a pretty clean game so far, Couple penalties on this drive from Stanford, indicative of a young football team. 
Troy Taylor told us in our meeting yesterday at the team hotel, we're young and experienced. There are so many new guys on the roster. 35 new players, 28 of whom are freshmen. Stone watches that bounce on a hop. Dangerous play, lost it. Bam Stone regains. Now trying to make something out of nothing still his feet. A cut, a spin for Stone. And he cruises across the 35. What could have been absolute disaster for Hawaii ends up in a positive return for Cam Stone. What an incredible return by Cam Stone. And these are the type of plays that can really spark your offense as they get out on the field. Looks like we got a flag. There was a flag late. 16 yard return for Stone. Let's check out the marker. Wild back up. Try to get to Matthew Richards, our referee. We don't think he's turning his mic on right now, so we'll try to get that fixed as quickly as possible. Stone partner last week had an adventure at the goal line against Vandy on punt return, where the ball hit him almost not once, but almost twice, as he was dancing around <laughs> near the football at his own goal line. So risky and gutsy for sure for Camp Stone. Well, it looked like he never really had full possession of it. He tried to catch the punt, bobble it a bit, fell to the ground, but nice concentration by Cam Stone to be able to get that ball up and be able to create something out of nothing. All right, let's see if Braden Shager and the offense can get going. Timmy Chang in our meeting yesterday, head coach just raving about Shager's grasp on the run and shoot. Stephen McBride, Kansas transfer number seven, a player to watch. Shager, time. Shager flushed. Think about running the football now. He does get up field. I mean, this is nice coverage by Stanford. Shager, we saw him last week. When he has time like that in the pocket, he's usually able to dissect your defense. But look at Stanford. Give him credit. They're on everybody. Smart play by Shager getting outside of the pocket and getting a couple yards out of it. Coverage pressure, no doubt. And good so far in the backfield with heat on Shager and downfield with coverage. Ethan Burndell, the FIU transfer, who's fit right in at Stanford. All Conference USA pick. Right about a bounds that time. Tylen Hines trying to get something going. He struggled last week at Vandy. Flag flies late. Had cramps and didn't carry the ball much for Hawaii. Landon Sims came in and got the lion's share of the carries last week in Nashville. Yeah, and Sims actually came in and did a really good job. Nine carries, 39 yards in that game. Another penalty against the White. You know, one of the keys to the game coming into this thing for Hawaii was not to beat yourself. Seven penalties in that football game last week against Vanderbilt. A couple of them cost them in critical moments. And you're seeing them not being on the same page here again tonight. Backed up again. Sets up second and 19. Shaker told us yesterday how confident this offense is. Bailey, pressure off the edge. Shaker shakes the tackle. That's a big pickup for Wade Shaker. Got away from Gates and Burnbell. I picked up extra real estate to move the chains for the Rainbow Warriors. Well, you got to love this by Braden Shager. Not known for his running ability, but certainly has the athletic ability to get outside of the pocket. And you saw there, boom, nice stiff arm on one of the best defenders in the Pac-12 and getting a first down for Hawaii. Picked up 21. Play fake. Pressure Bailey, the sack. David Bailey in the face of Shager, and down he goes. That was a close one right there. Great job by Braden Shager holding on to the football. Could have easily been a fumble. Looked like it was going to be a quick strike, but credit this defense. David Bailey getting in the backfield and making a play. Preseason, I will mention Pac-12 pick, meaning returning tackler. For Stanford, 46 hits last year. And Bobby April the third, new defensive coordinator. Zed Bailey and Colin Wright, top pro prospects. Pass Shager. That one complete, but 
not for much there to his tight end. Grayson Morgan active last week at five catches at Vandy. Quick strike right there, trying to get something going as this offense. It feels like every time they take a step forward, they're taking a couple steps back, trying to find some consistency within their game right now. Hawaii 0 for 3 so far. Partner tonight, third down tries. Going to move the chains here. Hawaii not great last week on third down, only 27% conversion rate. Looking to do a better job tonight. Three receivers to Shager's left. On third down again. Downfield coverage fantastic for Stanford. Nishigaya has a catch. Elevates at 5-7 on the sticks route. Picks up a first down for Hawaii. We've seen a couple times on this drive, Braden Shager and this offensive line be able to create, to create time for him and him being patient in the pocket. Wide receivers aren't open initially, giving them time to spring themselves open and deliver an accurate football for first, first, first down. Career best, 27 completions, Robert, last week for Shager. I thought he looked so mature in the pocket against an SEC team. Absolutely. Looks mature tonight as well. Right. First down off the gain of 17. Sideline route, Alex Perry at 6'5", the freshman from Port Charlotte, Florida. And has a catch on a beautifully delivered pass from Shager, first down. Yeah, starting to see this offense catch a rhythm now. You know, one of the hardest throws for prospects, quarterbacks, prospects coming out of high school, quarterbacks going into the NFL, is can you throw that out route from the opposite hash? And Shager threw a dime right there for another Hawaii first down. First time Timmy Chang's offense has looked comfortable tonight. On this drive, Sims featured back behind Shager here on first down. Finally into plus territory. Here's Sims. Has the catch. Has a good pickup. Sims first down Hawaii. Well, I'll tell you what, that time Brady Shager got the ball out quickly. But Landon Sims, when this running game couldn't get going last week, he came into the game, really provided a spark for this offense. And you're seeing that continue again tonight against Stanford. Tim's first career appearance last week in Nashville as a running back. Right. Carries 38 yards when Hines, as we talked about, had the cramps and was limited a week ago. Big Cats there. To the 20, the final moments of the first. Haven't seen Grayson Morgan yet, tied in with the catch. See Shager again, gets hit by Bailey, what a tackle. David Bailey, perfect form hit. He is something else for Stanford. And that ends the first quarter here from Honolulu in resounding fashion. End of the first quarter. Stanford has a lead. Smith, the touchdown run. You're watching college football on CBS Sports Network, presented by Old Trapper. Second quarter about to begin here from Honolulu. And second down for Shager and company. Time. Pocket collapses. End zone incomplete. Carson Papunu, intended receiver, and at the back of Jimmy Wyrick. Great coverage right there. Just keeping his eyes on the wide receiver, following him on this cross route. Hit him right in the back of the head. Right in the helmet. It's a PBU, right? It's a PBU. Counts. Turns around and gets an INT. Here from Dallas. Five tackles, four games for Wyrick last year. What a new starter. Third down, Shager. Caught, Ashlock. It's a first down to about the seven of Stanford. Fele Ashlock, freshman from Texas, coming off a huge game last week. Nice route con concept here. Three receivers line up to the left. The two inside guys run a little small turnaround routes at five yards. The outside guy runs a go route, and Shager able to find his target right in the middle of those three receivers for a first down. First and goal here for Hawaii. Shager, end zone, Aslock, touchdown! Rafael Aslock just keeps on trucking. And Hawaii's got its first touchdown at home this season. Nice play concept here. 
by Timmy Chang in his offense and an on target pass by Braden Shader. But you'll see number 17, Grayson Morgan, the tight end, come in motion into the flat route. Used to call that 49er pass when I was playing. And then you create a high low by sending Ashlock into the corner above that route. And just a tough play for a defense to defend. Dribbly perfect on PATs last week at Vandy. Converts Ashlock and company here, Robert, right back in this football game. Hawaii finally finding their groove in this football game. For Fele Ashlock, Robert said after his big game last week at Vanderbilt, been three years since I played due to COVID. He was hurt as a senior in Euless, Texas. He said it felt so good to get a touchdown catch and play well against the Commodores. The good feelings continue here for sure tonight in Honolulu. And we spoke to Timmy Chang, head coach for Hawaii, about this receiving core, and he simply just said, like, you guys don't know what we have, but we do. This is a special group, and they're certainly displaying it so far this season. 50-yard catch against Vanderbilt in last week's tough one-score loss for Hawaii. Kickoff here for Falk. Well, right back in this game. Next Sunday, our NFL and CBS Super Bowl season kicks off for the week one doubleheader. The early games headlined by the Battle of Ohio. Yes, Joe Burrow's back between the Bengals and Browns. Later, the defending NFC champion Eagles take on the Patriots. We can't wait for next Sunday and the NFL on CBS. You ready? I know you're ready. I am more than ready for the NFL season to kick off, Dave. Can't wait. Seahawks this year? Projection? What do you think? 11 and 6, NFC Championship game. Oh, there you Ooh. go. Oh. <laughs> Daniels, first down for Stanford. Yurasik brings it in. Seam route for the star tight end. Well, Stanford, big pickup into Hawaii territory in the first down. Yurasik showing his impact already in this football game. You'll see him. Swim move a defender and get down the seam right there. Nice move off the line of scrimmage, getting the first down. Stanford goes fast here. Passing to Sam Roush, the second tight end behind Jurassic. Off the back foot for Daniels. This is a fast-paced offense for the Cardinal. Just in the last second, a good break up there for Hawaii. Big play, Noah Kemma. Noah Kemma doing a great job keeping his eyes on the defender and getting his hands up once he saw the target put his hands up, resulting in getting a PBU right there. Nice how, play. How has Daniels looked to you first career start? He's looked fine to me. First career start, looks relaxed, looks poised, comfortable. Right on cue, you're asking another catch, another first down. It's even better when you're throwing to one of the best tight ends in the country. Nice first down conversion right there. Urasek just coming across the middle. Easy pitch and catch, getting upfield for another first. Winded Ho Ho Huli, the tackle. Bachmeyer, the reception. Rock one tackle. Would have been a loss there for Stanford. He able to battle his way with McKee Pay making the play eventually. Hawaii safety, the Washington transfer for some po positive yards there for the Cardinal. Once again, making something out of nothing there, breaking a the tackle, getting downhill for a couple yards. Those could play big dividends in drives like these that are slow and methodical. But give credit to Coach Taylor and how he's mixing up this offense right now. Philkins featured back, both Jurassic and Roush in two tight ends here for Stanford. Whistles first. Timeout call by the Cardinal. Our first play stoppage of the first half tonight. Timeout at Honolulu. Always stunning, always beautiful. Waikiki Beach, Honolulu, Hawaii. So tonight's Pac-12 Mountain West matchup. Ben Jurassic, four catches, 70 yards so far tonight here. Robert been really effective. Been really impactful in this football game tonight showing why he's one of the best tight ends in the country and talking to coach Troy Taylor really feels like he has that George Kittle
type impact on his offense, Travis Kelsey, with all the different things he can do. And did you know his great-grandfather, Mike, credited with inventing the baby carrot? I love <laughs> baby carrots. Don't you? Yeah, so do I. Amazing. A little ranch on him. Off the timeout. Little flea flicker play. Daniels, Jurassic on cue, spins, gathers it. Touchdown, Stanford. What a play. What a catch for the Cardinal. Some trickery for Coach Troy Taylor in this offense. A rever double reverse pass. And right on cue, back shoulder. Jurasek with an incredible catch, being able to twist his body in the air. All hands, bring it in, and score another Stanford touchdown. All American Cardi on for the PAT here. Brand new head coach, Troy Taylor. Experience in the Pac 12 at Utah, running the offense there for Coach Willingham. Then went to Sac State, took a big pay cut to be a head coach for the first time at the collegiate level, and just tore up the big sky for three years, hoping to tear up the Pac 12 in its last year as we know it. Guardy PAT. Jurassic said pregame, Robert, what we're trying to do is bring back tight end you at Stanford, and he's leading the way, isn't he? He's leading the way, and we mentioned some of those great tight ends historically that have been a part of Stanford. Kobe Fleener, Zach Ertz, Dalton Schultz, just to name a few, and he's just a guy wanting to keep that standard high, specifically at that position. You know, when they do the tight end you, and he talked about this, and they don't talk about the Stanford tight ends he gets pretty upset about that so he wants to keep that standard high and he's showing it tonight his comments in camp to the media we're gonna make a 180 out of the offense forget 2022 and the three wins the five game losing streak to end the season and he's a spectacular talent Mackey award watch list for tight end of the year nationally big numbers expected for Jurassic this year delivering so far with his first touchdown of the season and Daniels in his first career start has been excellent. Well, you're a sec already 100 yards in this game over 100 yards in this game last season had over 400 yards 445 yards total and he's already eating those numbers up tonight. And how about Ashton Daniels? He's been incredible tonight, Dave, getting his first start. Really been efficient, poised, confident in the pocket. Stone will venture out from his two. Cam Stone, the wheels, has a seam, and his deck just shot of a 30. Good return for Hawaii. Rainbow Warriors take over. Daniels, 10 of 16, 132 yards and a touchdown. As you check the numbers for Hawaii, struggle in the first three drives, Robert, but they got it going in the last one. They got it going in the last one, and. That was the most comfortable drive for them of this football game. And the key in that drive is the offensive line really creating a lot of time in the pocket for Braden Shager. Receivers are having time to get open, and he's delivering accurate football. And they were able to drive down the field and get a score. Hines feature back in motion. Screen pass, Hines the drop. There's a forward pass. You know, Hines has really struggled so far this season. Didn't play much in the second half last week. And off to a slow start tonight. And a rare drop from Tylen Hines right there. Huge numbers for him last year. 7.64 yards of carry led all freshmen nationally. Along with Taylor Green of Boise State, only two freshman running backs in the nation, seven plus yards of carry. So big threat for Hawaii. Second down for Shager. Pocket collapses again. Running well again, flag flies, slides shy of what he needs for the first down of the 39. But let's check out the marker that's generally holding territory. And we'll probably back up Hawaii. Holding. Offense number 66. Second. We'll work on our referee Matthew Richards microphone there. I believe he said 66 and Sergio Muasal here from Eva Beach here on Oahu. Played in all 12 games, seven starts last season. Getting the nod this year. Done pretty well so far. 
See how consistent this offensive line can stay. Second and 20 here for Shager. Delivers. Perfect pass, good result. Ashlock with a lot of contact. And a heavy hit. Let's see. Let's try to unfold that one. Jimmy Wyra came in. Pick up a 12. Might have a targeting possibility here on that hit. Looked like he hit his own teammate there. And... That's not the case. Okay. Well, Wyrick is helped off by Stanford trainers. Yeah. He's all right. Looked like he hit his own teammate there. Got his ankle a little twisted up, but seems to be walking off the field just fine. Third and eight here for Shager. Bailey pressure again. Over the middle. The big hit delivered. A.K. Gilman from here on Oahu with a big play. He's got a lot of family and friends watching. Now Akia. Nice drive on the football right there. A quick hitter from Braden Shager trying to find his tight end, Grayson Morgan, over the middle. Hoping to have some real estate out in front, but not this time. From La Ie, Oahu. Great camp team leader. The coaches told us yesterday, excited to come back to Oahu and play here tonight. Shipley punts. Pilkins on the return for Stanford. Takes one hit, keeps on trucking. Shy of the 35, Stanford the ball back when we return to Hawaii. Yesterday, the Trotter flight from San Jose, Troy Taylor led all the players, staff members, to Pearl Harbor Memorial, USS Arizona. Take the boat ride out and reflect on those lost. Early morning surprise attack. Over 350 Japanese aircraft damaged 21 U.S. Navy ships, including the battleship USS Arizona, one of eight battleships docked at that time. It was not salvaged. The day that will live in infamy, as FDR told the nation back on December 7, 1941. Looks told us yesterday. All these players, respectful, grateful. One of them. Go to Pearl Harbor, taking some history yesterday. Well, it's one, another catch. Well, it's one of the key pillars for him as far as how he wants to build this program and the type of players that he wants to bring in, guys that love football. And as you said, another catch there by your set. Nice game. Gain of eight. Smith carries. Good play defensively. Peter Manuma. Five tackles and a tackle for loss against Vandy last week, but had a key roughing the passer call that kept the Vandy drive going. A one score game. No gain on that run from Smith. Nice job that time by the Hawaii defense. Being stout up front, keeping this run game from being able to spring. A big one for a first down. Butler feature back here. Cardinal two for four. So far, third down conversions tonight. Navigating, driving forward. That spot is really close. Fungo was there with a nice hit on Ashton Daniels. Isaiah, the team leader defensively, who's made a huge transformation, putting on muscle in the offseason, becoming more aggressive, the hit on Daniels. This is a simple power play. Stanford pulls the left guard to the right. Nice second effort there by Ashton Daniels, being able to spin his way into a first down. It is a first down. James move for the Cardinal. Daniels, play fake. Pocket collapses, down it goes. Flags fly from all directions. Lots of pressure eventually getting to Ashton Daniels, but he lost his helmet. Let's see if that's a defensive call and grabbing the face mask. Ezra Evi Malo, junior from here on Oahu. Providing some heat personal foul on Daniels defense number 96 15 yard penalty automatic first down it's against Andrew number 14 Troy may run. remain in the game because the foul caused the helmet to come off looks like it was Eva Malo yeah, 52 it's not exactly really right. who grabbed the face mask right there the junior 20 tackles in a sack last season big mistake right there for this defense it's an automatic stand for first down. Plus territory. Wilkins the cut. A nice pickup. Motors ahead inside the 35 down to the 34 yard line. 
Tariq Jones, sophomore from New Orleans. There's a tackle for a white gain of eight. Casey Filkins that time getting around the edge there, getting downhill and getting some positive yards. Tampa goes fast again. Filkins carries again. Driving right ahead, that spot is shy by about a yard here for Stanford. So it's up third and short. Kualpe Hopa, transfer from Washington. Nice job by Noah Kema as well, getting downhill and meeting him in the meeting him in the hole right there. That's that old school one-on-one -on -one Oklahoma drill we just saw, and the defense getting the getting the win that time. It's all about physicality, right? Point of attack. Third down. Daniels. QB design run drives ahead. Does have the first down here for Stanford to the 30. Now the chains move for the Cardinal gain of two. And this time, same play, other side. This time, pulling the right guard to the left on a quarterback power play. And Ashton Daniels just getting behind those big guys up front and pushing forward for another first down. And two rushing touchdowns against Washington State in Pac 12 play last year. When he got his opportunity, Daniels delivered. First down, play fake. The wall right for Daniels. Throws on the move. Another good pickup. It's a nice read by Daniels, rolling out to his right. Jason Reigns has a catch. Finding his target, Jason Reigns. It's a good read there by Ashton Daniels. Initially wanted the flat player. Wasn't there. Went to the next level. Found his receiver coming across the field for another Stanford first down. No catches for Reigns last year. Junior West Orange, New Jersey. You saw that first down stat. Squarely in the favor of Stanford here. On the move again in the red zone. From the 19, QB run, Daniels. Tries the right side. And keeps on pushing bodies ahead going north-south. Physical play. He pay X walk-on. Time for second last year in the team. Over five tackles for loss. Makes the hit gain of eight. You see your set going motion to the right right here and just a we call that a QB sweep. Pull a couple of the offensive linemen there to lead block in front of your quarterback and as coach Troy Taylor said he's going to run his quarterback a bunch and we've seen it already in this first half. Second out coming up here whistles first. The out of bounds spot is under further review. A review coming up on the spot with just under six to go here in the first half from Honolulu. Possible targeting. targeting. Now we're told possible targeting. When we sort that out, we'll tell you coming up on the Verizon halftime report. Brent Stover, Kevin Carter, Christian Fourier, Beanie Wells will break down this game and get you caught up on the other key games played in this busy Labor Day weekend. There's football tonight, tomorrow, Sunday, Labor Day across the nation. All coming up on the Verizon Halftime Report. Let's take a look here. Well, let's see who they're identifying here for the target play. Didn't see anything clear in that in that replay well initially referee Matthew Richards told us it was a spot review then became a targeting review so let's get this all sorted out I'm with you I didn't see anything there that yeah. looks illegal I know one of the points of emphasis this year and some of the rule changes is oh there you go so Targeting. key pay is being looked at there. That is a good angle from our great crew here in Hawaii for the hit on Ashton Daniels. So you saw the angle from the side. Did he leave with the crown of the helmet? Head or neck area? That was the best look at it a moment ago. Yeah. Let's see if we can see it again. Junior from here in Honolulu, an ankle injury. This week in practice, Timmy Chang told us yesterday he was actually doubtful to play tonight. 
But clearly the treatment worked between our meeting with the coach yesterday and the game here this evening. Let's find out. After review, personal foul, targeting with the crown of the helmet. Defense number seven. The penalty is enforced half the distance of the goal. Automatic first down. Number seven has been disqualified. So the key pays, night is done. It does happen in the first half, so he can't play. After he sits out the rest of this game, the first half of Hawaii's next game when they play Albany here a week from tomorrow. Agree, Robert? It was helmet to helmet contact. I don't I don't believe that it was on purpose. Looked like to me he was trying to get his shoulder involved in the play, but sometimes with the speed of the game, it just doesn't happen in time. Automatic first and goal here for Stanford. Rossick, the man in motion. Daniels navigates, cuts, and has dropped inside the five. Good running quarterback, Logan Taylor. Five team captains for Hawaii, and the unquestioned leader of this defense makes the tackle. That time running a read option play there. Looked like Daniels wanted to throw the ball potentially. Didn't have his target there on the outside and decided to tuck it and run. Nice play defensively by Hawaii. Vilkins to the left here of Daniels. Short yardage. Butler right behind his quarterback. Vilkins a little toss to him. Initial contact spins ahead. Doesn't get there. And Hawaii's student section, the whiteout tonight. And the new end zone seating here at the Ching Athletics Complex making some noise. Certainly supporting this Hawaii football program as they're trying to change things around and get back to their winning ways. And this defense pretty good last week against the run. This goal line stand could be huge. The 11th Please play of the drive for Daniels. Quick handoff, quick touchdown for Stanford. Cardinal is in. Bryce Farrell. The senior scores for Stanford. And yeah, the Cardinals got its third touchdown of 2023. Heck of a play design here by Troy Taylor. Lined up in the formation, got all the guys bunched up there. Sends his receiver in motion. Hawaii undisciplined on the edge on that play, not containing the outside and an easy touchdown around the corner for Stanford. Cardi last year, first team All-American, was 18 of 18 on field goal trials. Actually missed one PAT last year, 24-25, but he splits the uprights. This time for another Stanford point. And that quick inside handoff. Barrel is in, crosses the goal line for six. College football on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Ram Truck. We'll start on my signal. Big play in more ways than one for Papunu and Hawaii. Yeah, and I was just saying here in this situation, you don't have to take a touchdown shot yet. Let's see what they do here. 10 seconds, but no timeouts. A solid kicker in Shipley. Shager, end zone, out of bounds. And incomplete on a quick toss to Perry. Ran Manley, the corner for Stanford had coverage. Nice coverage by Manley. That time, you want to see your receiver try to stack the corner there. That way you present more space to the outside for your quarterback to be able to deliver the football. Nice job by the corner pushing him to the sideline and making a great play on the ball. Triple A 16 to 20, along with 49 last year, field goal attempts for Hawaii. 33. He's got it. And Hawaii's got three more points and some momentum heading into the halftime locker room here in Honolulu. Troy Taylor's first half as head coach at Stanford. A lead for his Cardinal. And a big day in Stanford Athletics history. Emotional day for the Hawaii players. Great action into the first half. Cardinal a lead on Hawaii. After the break, Brent Stover and the gang in New York with a Verizon halftime report. 
jerky. Getting set for the start of the second half from stunning Honolulu. Cardinal has won nine of its last 12 season openers. 11 point lead on Hawaii. And as we get set for half number two from just outside. Beautiful Waikiki, welcome back to tremendous, gorgeous, spectacular Honolulu, Dave Ryan. Robert Turbin with you. So Troy Taylor's era starts at Stanford. Impressions through one half of play. Well, they've been sharp in the first half. Lost 12 starters last year, came back with this young team, and they look really fluent offensively. You got to give a lot of credit to Ash and Daniels for the poise that he's shown so far in this football game, running it and throwing it. This Cardinals team has surprised a lot of people today with how efficient they've been. But Troy Taylor's got these guys playing at a high level so far in tonight's football game. Smith the touchdown, Jurassic, the flea flicker touchdown grab, and Bryce Farrell. The quick handoff, a touchdown run for Stanford. We're gonna lead at halftime as we check these Snickers first half numbers. What stands out here to you, Robert? The rush yards for Hawaii give Stanford's defense credit for their ability to stop the run, but if Hawaii wants to see any success in the second half offensively, they're gonna have to get their ground game going. The sunset over the Sheriff Athletic Center, home of Hawaii basketball and volleyball. Kickoff for foul to begin second half play. Farrell indicates for the fair catch at the last moment. So Stanford will get it at the 25 yard line to begin play here in half number two. QB comparison, Shager's first half. What do you think of him? Well, Shager's been sharp in the first half. There's been some inconsistencies up front as far as protection is concerned. They've obviously had some penalties that have really set their offense back as well in this football game. But as far as Shager and his decision making so far in this football game, I think he's played well. Smart play there. Underrated fair catch call by Bryce Farrell right there. Giving the Stanford offense good field position. Agreed. It's a big play. Philkins, man in motion. Catch made, traffic, pile of bodies pushing forward. And a gain of nine for Stanford on the first play from scrimmage in the second half. Daniels, 10 games last year, backing up Tanner McKee, a draft pick eventually by the Eagles. Very interesting. Started the game off throwing the football. Started the second half throwing the football as well, showing some confidence. And his new quarterback. Now, Iowa Manor has the catch. Filkins the run. First down of that sum for Stanford. Chains move. Knocked the bounce hard there by Hawaii. And Justin Sinclair, JC All American transfer for the Rainbow Warriors. Gain of 10. Nice blocking up front there by Stanford. Casey Filkins able to find some room there around the left side of the edge. Get around the corner for a first down. Wilkins had an arm injury last year, late October, and was lost for the season. And David Shaw's last year on the farm. Wilkins delayed. Drives through tacklers. Here he goes. Wilkins caught by Stone eventually for Hawaii. Big pickup for Stanford. And the Cardinal in business thanks to the big run from Casey Wilkins. Nice play design by Troy Taylor in this offense. Pulling the tight ends to the opposite side of the run. Opening up a lane for Filkins right there. Nice job by Stanford's offense. Gain of 47. No feed. Filkins again. Tries the left side. Trying that left side again. Similar play. Logan Taylor got there, put an end of that run for Filkins, who taps the helmet, says, I need a break. <laughs> After the 47 yard explosive play for Stanford. Let me catch a breather. Please. The Stanford offense. You know, Coach Troy Taylor, you talk about the spread, you talk about up tempo offense, and you think about a lot of passing normally in an offense like this, but Coach Troy Taylor staying true to the run. And they're doing a nice job of it. Tonight's red zone being brought to you by Verizon. On second down. Run play. It's this time, Ryan Butler. Transfer from Princeton. Player we told you about. Would be a key with Cedric Irvin, also one of the top running backs. Not seeing action so far tonight. 
to New Orleans Stanford allowing transfers first time into the portal and Troy Taylor getting some good talent this year to get it for it. third and goal handful of guys coming out of the portal for Stanford this season Smith and Butler both in there high snap Smith breaks one tackle not two not three Peter Manuma there drag down tackle for Hawaii great pursuit for the Rainbow Warriors pushes Stanford back and forces a field goal try some trickery there by Stanford that time trying to get EJ Smith around the corner testing the right edge of this Hawaii defense but give credit to Hawaii gave up a big play earlier in the drive was able to regroup find their composure and get a big stop on third down forcing a field goal 25 yard attempt here for the All-American Joshua Carney he's got it perfect last year and an incredible 18 for 18 make it 19 in a row now for Carney a 61 yarder a school record last season and a good cash in for Stanford but good defense too. pursuit on EJ Smith from Peter Manuma defensive back for the Rainbow Warriors puts a stop to Stanford's touchdown try New Stanford head coach Troy Taylor Robert told us yesterday we don't know with our inexperience lack of experience in this roster how our team will respond to the brand new setting and a brand new system so far so good so far so good he's got his guys ready to go and this doesn't even look like a young football team this looks like a team with plenty of experience with the way that they've played tonight got to give a lot of credit to coach Troy Taylor having his guys guys prepared and all American Cardi for stone won't touch that one and over his head for a touch back to the 25 here for Hawaii trying to get something going offensively with this run and shoot five three and outs couple scoring drives the field goal late from Shipley trying to get some good mojo going for half number two well two quarters to go this offense really only one good drive throughout this entire football game they have to get the run game going last week only 39 yards on the ground against Vandy certainly looking to do a better job of that tonight they haven't done it so far but let's see if they can get something going on the ground here in the second half 12 rushing yards so far in the game and Stanford has lived in the backfield so far tonight first down for Shager again some heat hit as he throws Barrett spins got it sideline route Ashlock adjusts and grabs it for Hawaii big pickup first down beautiful throw by Braden Shager here, stepping up in the pocket. Delivering that ball in between two defenders that time. And nice adjustment there by Ashley. Getting down, making the catch for a big first down. Huge confidence and momentum booster for this Hawaii offense. Touchdown catch, first half. Hopefully, Ashlock, big pickup to begin half number two for the freshman from Texas. On first down. Play fake to Sims. Bailey again. Flag flies. Two flags are down. Shaker on the move throws to Sims. And hit there by A.K. Gilman. Face mask coming up here. Shaker is taking some knocks here tonight for Hawaii. Showing, Showing his toughness. Back. Face mask. Defense number 23. 15-yard penalty will be added to the end of the play. Automatic first down. Showing his toughness, taking a couple hits. You see right here the blatant face mask right there. Kept playing and got a completion even down the field. Brilliant first half for David Bailey. Penalty that time. So attack on 15 to the catch. Uh, automatic first down here for White. All the way to the 17. And the Warriors trying to strike back quickly. On their initial drive of half number two. Jager. The Pulu. The big guy. <laughs> Solo by Pulu, the senior from Riverside, California. Had a catch last week against Vandy. And at the one, fumbled. Aslock recovered. It was initially called a touchdown for the Rainbow Warriors. 
but call back on review. The next play was a false start. The next play was interception in that game last week. This is a guy who's a backup center. Can make some big plays. <laughs> I told you, don't be surprised if you see the ball in his hands tonight. First carry, nice gain on first down. There's number zero in the backfield, 52 in the offensive line. Shager feels some heat. Nishigaya has a third catch of the night. And he's close to a first down. Kawhi Nishigaya from here in Oahu has been a factor for Hawaii so far. Appeared in four games last year, one start. Having an impact on this team this year, the junior, one of the veterans of this receiving core, this young receiving core. Nice job on second down, but a critical third down here for this Hawaii offense. Previous play is under further review to look at the dead ball spot. Yeah, I think, it might, I think his knee might have been down on the initial catch there, Dave. All right, let's check it out. I think when he initially caught the ball, knee was touching. Knee was touching. Look at that. See right there. The runner's knee was oh. down on the 10 yard line. Third down. There it is, no doubt. Yeah, there it is. So no actual real estate there for Nishigaya. He did a good job to break a tackle and get a few more yards. So it goes back to the 10 for third down. I'm with you, big drive here for White. Huge drive and a huge third down right here. I look for a similar play that they ran in the first half, sending the receiver in motion, then he goes into the flat, creating a high low with the flat wide receiver and the guy running into the corner. Doesn't look like the motion here though. Third down for Shager. Blitz comes, pressure comes. Shager in trouble. Not much you can do with that one. Doing all kinds there of heat no toward the, the ball Stanford the bench. The ball went the scrimmage, and the quarterback was outside the pocket. No grounding. You heard it. Incomplete pass. Sets up fourth down. Decision time for Timmy Chang. I would go for three if it were, if it were my choice here, Dave. You've done a good job driving down the field. That's two drives in a row. Now you had the two minute at the end of the half getting three. Not bad to get three here, but it looks like they're going to go for it. Either way, two score game. Even if you get the field goal, four, three for four on fourth down tries. Timmy Chan went for a lot last week in that loss in Nashville to Vandy. Time out on the field. Big play coming up here. Fourth and three. Troy Taylor's defense. Stand tall here against Hawaii. We've been talking a lot about it, Robert, tonight. Last week in Vandy in Nashville, some missed opportunities. A false start on what would have been a touchdown run yep. for Dalen Morris, and then an interception was thrown on the next play. Clayton Shaker trying to force one in there and got picked. Really out of bounds as well on this onside kick that was nearly successful for him. Couple plays that really swung the momentum of the football game right there, just not being aware of where you are on the field, and that would have got the ball back to Hawaii with plenty of time. Nick Seneca was really close that time. And rough in the passer penalty we talked about with Peter Manuma. That allowed Vanderbilt to take more time off the clock there in the fourth quarter not leaving Hawaii a lot of time to be able to come back in that in that at the end of the game there. Stanford is hoping to challenge that call. It is not challengeable. So they're charged with a timeout a moment ago. So one play stoppage off the board for Troy Taylor. Second half here for Stanford. Forked out. Shager and company on the field trying to go for it here. Huge play for Shager. Here comes the pressure. Shager trying to extend the play and trouble down it goes. Enveloped by Cardinal defenders. And Stanford will turn over on downs. Great pressure. Lance Fennelly was in the face of Shager. Loss of four. We'll give credit here to Stanford's defense. They bring their inside linebacker and the guy off the edge. 
and just great coverage down the field. Shager not able to find any of his targets. Eventually, that pocket breaks down too much for him to be able to escape anywhere. And, you know, to me, this is the danger of going for it on fourth down. You get three, it's 24-13. Let's say your defense gets a stop here. You have an opportunity to score, get a two-point conversion. Now you're only down three. Numbers for Daniels, first career start. On first down, taking over. Narasik has the catch. He's hit right away. Big play defensively. Elijah Palmer, the nickel. Freshman from Vegas. A resounding hit. Elijah Palmer, 5'8", 175. He hits like he's over 200 pounds, though. He's been all over the field tonight, laying down some big hits on this Stanford offensive players. Coach is raving about Palmer in our meetings yesterday. He said he's not played like a freshman. Great technique, tackling. Saw it there. Flag flies, second down. Daniels, Urasek, the catch. Manuma with a big play defensively. There is a marker down. All the way back at the 16. On the near side, let's check it out. Gain of 24 if it stands. Offside. Defense number 12. That penalty's declined. The result of the play is a first down. Free play. Hohohuli, sophomore from Oahu. Guilty party there for Hawaii. Now first down here for the Cardinal. Nine catches, 138 yards. Jurassic, a touchdown. Came in the first half. Spectacular tonight for Stanford. So far, he's been something else. Ryan Butler, the carry. Physical play. He gets in the plus territory, hit by Taylor. And look who's leading the way right there, Ben Yarasak. Not only doing it in the passing game, but being impactful in the run game as well. He's got all the traits of a great tight end in college football. Second and short here for Stanford. Troy Taylor told us yesterday we have different tempos. We can go fast when we need to. Breakneck speed to keep Hawaii's defense on its heels. They play some power football too. Butler stays busy. Bounces off a tackler, has a first down. That time sending Ben Urasic in motion to cut off the backside. And nice run by the running back, just getting downhill. Getting the first down right there. Another flag down here. First down. Offside. Defense number 12. That five yard penalty results in a first down by yardage. First down. It was Hoho Huli again. Back to back offsides call for head coach Timmy Chang. Chang's move for Stanford. Clock rolls. Brand new rule. I like it, Robert. It's good to see the clock moving, keep things. A good pace in college football. I think it's a good rule. I mean, think about how many plays per week are in the NFL. 151 compared to in college, 178 last year. Smith and Butler flank the quarterback. Here's Butler. Tries the left side, breaks a tackle. Tafunga couldn't bring him down, which is surprising. One of the best tacklers in the Mountain West. Taylor eventually cleans him up. Gain of four for Ryan Butler. He's uh, flashing tonight a little bit, isn't he? Yeah, Butler with a nice run right there, using a the stiff arm to avoid one of the best tacklers in the division, getting around the edge for a positive gain on first down. And Ryan Butler out of Plainfield, New Jersey. Sophomore getting some good run in tonight's football game. So that's up second down. Stanford effective on the ground on this drive so far. Play fake to Smith. Daniels dances and eventually does get north-south for a couple. Dropped on the play by Jonah Kahahawai Welch. Sixth year senior. Started his career way back in 2018 here in Honolulu. With that super senior COVID year. Third down. And you get the feeling here, Robert. Big defensive opportunity for Hawaii. It really is. Obviously, the stop on fourth down on their last offensive possession be nice for this defense. Him to come back and make a play here on third down. Daniels, some pressure. Elusive. First down. And for just good enough. Rudy Rubin has the catch, sophomore from Kansas City. 
I thought right here, one of the rare misses that we've seen from Ash and Daniels. Nice play to deliver the football, get a first down, but boy, he had EJ Smith down that left sideline on a wheel route. Would have been a touchdown. Daniels has incredible speed. Troy Taylor told us yesterday he was clocked with the GPS the kids now have in the NFL. You know from your days with the Seahawks, 21 miles an hour. Sounds a lot now, like you, Dave. That's moving. That's not me. <laughs> that was never me. <laughs> On first down. Mesh for Smith. Tries the right side. Breaks a tackle. Get to the edge. Made something out of nothing there. Tefunga Taylor in pursuit. Eventually, Noah Kemba does have a stop for Hawaii. Game six. Hawaii starting to show some signs of breaking down here defensively as Stanford is in their territory. Let's see if they can regroup here and find a way to get a stop on this drive. Difference in tempo. Troy Taylor told us yesterday if we feel Hawaii is tired. We'll stretch out our drives. Case in point here on second down, a play fake. Jurassic elevating, trying to bring that in. Cannot, it's incomplete. And a dangerous play with Justin Sinclair in the neighborhood thinking about a pick six. Yeah, well, they were trying to bring Jurassic behind the line of scrimmage there on a play action, get him into the flat. Got held up at the line of scrimmage, altered his angle there to get into the flat. Resulted in an incomplete pass and could have been intercepted. If he was just a tad sooner there to the football. Butler in, been effective on this drive. Within the range of the All-American kicker, Joshua Carney. Third down for Stanford. On the slant, incomplete, good coverage. Trying there for Ella Aya Manor. Vernell Edwards, the second. It was so impressive in practice yesterday when we were here watching. Helped on the PBU, there is a flag down. Personal foul, targeting, defense number 17. That play is under further review. That's a disaster potentially on so many levels for Hawaii. Their best tackler, Isaiah Tafaga, the Oregon State transfer. Yeah. Has been whistled here. Let's see. It's head-to-head -head contact. Ryan Manor is defenseless at that point. Textbook to me, Robert. What do you think? Yeah, it's textbook. I mean, helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact, no question about it. I still believe that he's trying to get his shoulder involved in the hit. I truly do. But it happens so fast, it's, it's, it's extremely tough for defenders. But this is no question a helmet-to-helmet -helmet hit, and we, we might see our second ejection of the game. Already as we check the... Specifications on targeting. Team has lost the key pay to targeting in the first half. He can play against Albany in the next game for Timmy Chang on September 9th, a week from tomorrow. But if Tafaga, and this is confirmed, he can't play. After further review, the ruling of targeting has been confirmed. Number 17 has been disqualified. It'll be first and goal. And Dave, I mean, talk about. Yeah, defense who made an incredible play there on the slant to get a stop on third down and now he gave up 15 yards and Stanford's back on the field offensively trying to get another score. Eight tackles, two sacks. Career night for Tafanga against Vandy last week. DQ'd on the second targeting call of the night for Hawaii. That's tough. What player safety is paramount? And around Farrell again. Makes a cut. Makes a leap. Big play for Stanford. Down at about the five yard line. Bryce Farrell had the touchdown run in the first half of the game tonight. Riddle Edwards, the second, a little slow to get up for Hawaii. Gain of nine. Farrell showing his athleticism that time on that play. Getting airborne. Nice gain on fourth down. A 
A rare under center approach here. Play fake. Daniels on second down. The end zone's incomplete. Trying there for Moody Rubin. Peter Manuma in the vicinity for a while. Sets up third down. I thought that time Ashton Daniels, he had Yarasek in the flat. Didn't really have his eyes on him on the initial play action, but I tell you, if he does, if he gets it out there quick, it's another touchdown for Ben Yarasek. But instead, we're on third down. Third and two. Butler feature back. Farrell in motion. Butler carries Barry. Hit right away. Kahawai Wells got there in a hurry to the backfield. That makes a big play defensively for Hawaii. Incredible stand by this Hawaii defense. Fighting through the adversity on another set of downs. Getting into another third down situation and getting the stop. Now you saw the play by Stanford. They motioned the wide receiver. They scored a touchdown on the fly sweep earlier. This time they faked the sweep, give it to the back. Hawaii able to stay disciplined on the play and still get a stop. Brings in Joshua Carty, the first first team All-American at Stanford since Bryce Love in 2017. This from 25 for a second time tonight. And for kicker of his caliber, bound for the NFL time next year. That's a piece of kick. Three more for the Cardinals. Bought some momentum for Hawaii with some good defense there to limit Troy Taylor's team to a field goal. Look at some plays we love brought to you by Marco's Pizza. Jurassic has been fantastic tonight. Huge game for Stanford. Nine catches, 138 yards and a touchdown. A big factor as Troy Taylor, the new head coach, predicted to us yesterday he would be. Yeah, Ben Jurassic has been all over the field, catching the football, pass blocking run blocking he has such a versatile game and he's displaying it all tonight cardi busy tonight stone watches that sorber's head for another touchback 17 point lead here for stanford we talk about tight end you and Rasik in the preseason saying we got to get back to our tradition of utilizing the position and he's certainly delivered tonight hasn't it he? he's certainly setting the foundation and has delivered in a big way and not just catching the football i mean he's doing it in a multitude of ways leading the charge for this offense and love to have a guy like that on your football team let's see how hawaii responds not one but two star defenders in mckee pay and tafanga ejected with targeting calls in the same game shager Offense back on the field. And McBride has a catch outside the 30. On first down, Kansas transfer. Played 24 games in the Big 12 for the Jayhawks. Two years, no touchdowns. Had a big game against Vandy last week. Huge game against Vandy last week. Really was the number one target there in that first half. And haven't seen much of him tonight, but see if he can get going here. Hines, first down. Something Hawaii desperately needs on this drive. I like the call there. You're down big here late in the third quarter, but it's still important to keep the defense true to your run game. Keep them honest. Scotty Edwards, sophomore, Holiday City, Utah, has to stop defensively against Timmy Chang's team. Game of five, chain mover here for Hawaii. Waiting moments of the third. Shager. Blitz coming. It's picked up. Pitch and catch. Perfect for Hawaii. Ashlock the grab. And a big gain here for the Rainbow Warriors toward the end of the third. Well, this is a great job by Solo by Pulu. We've talked about him many times in this football game, being able to step up in that pass protection there. You saw Stanford bring a blitz that time. And this offensive line running back Able to protect Shager, he's able to deliver an accurate on-time ball for a first down. Well, Fele Ashlock, big game tonight again. 28-yard pickup on that connection with Shager, who hits as he throws. Perry's got this time. And forward progress beyond the sticks. Another first down for Hawaii as the third quarter comes to an end. 
Reception by Alex Perry, freshman from Florida. And in the third quarter, a lead for Stanford, looking to break a five-game losing streak. You're watching college football on CBS Sports Network, presented by Old Beautiful Waikiki Beach, only a mile or so from the Hawaii campus. We'll take a look at the PNC Bank game summary. Robert, what stands out to you here? Well, third downs for Hawaii haven't been great. They weren't great last week against Vanderbilt, and it's been a repeat performance this year. Been, well, been doing well on this drive. Let's see if they can keep it going and find a way to get in the end zone. That T.O.P. time of possession number partner is huge. Stanford controlling the clock and the scoreboard. Up 17, we start the fourth here from Honolulu. Play fake to Hines. Jager, end zone, McBride spins, adjusts. Touchdown, Hawaii! What a catch! Steven McBride. We just got done talking about Steven McBride and how he had a big game last week against Vanderbilt. Hadn't really shown up tonight. Couple catches, this time showing up big for his quarterback in his Hawaii offense with a spectacular play in the end zone for a touchdown. Here it is here, boom. Twisting and turning there, getting a the foot down, and here comes Hawaii now. They Going for two. two. Make it 27-18, potentially nine-point game instead of 10. Not sure I agree with this call right here, Dave. I'll be honest. You put yourself in a position if you don't get this, now you got to get two touchdowns. Whereas if you do, it's a touchdown and a field goal to tie. Going for two. Jager flushed again. Here comes the heat. Lost in the end zone. And nobody there incomplete. It's a desperate play. It's a desperate play. And 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 when you don't convert on a, on a down like this, it disrupts the momentum for your team. Zach Buckley, the pressure. But McBride, a touchdown connection again. The Kansas transfer shines brightly for Hawaii. 27-16 game. Rainbow Warriors back on the board. Transfer. 21 catches, 128 yards, no touchdowns in his career. Two years, Stephen McBride before coming to Hawaii. And he said after last week's game at Vanderbilt, my role, go deep <laughs> and make big plays, <laughs> score touchdowns. He's done that. He's got three already in two games. Three already in two games, making a huge impact for this team. And it's always comfortable for a quarterback knowing that you got a guy that you can depend on to make those 50-50 balls. Kick off by Falcon to the end zone. Four of five cash-ins, couple touchdowns, two field goals from the All-American Cardi here for Stanford. I'm impressed with Ashton Daniels' debut and for a lot of reasons. The way he's directing this offense, adjusted pace and running the football, he's a real dual threat. He really is, and we talked to Coach Taylor about what he sees, what he wants in a quarterback and his skill set. He mentioned four things, decision-making, consistency, functional movement, and accuracy, with accuracy being the most important attribute for the quarterback, and we're seeing all of those in Ashton Daniels tonight. Check, 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 right? <laughs> no doubt. Daniels on first down. Butler's got the catch out of the backfield. And wrapped up after a short gain. That time getting Ashton Daniels out of the outside of the pocket there. Delivering a accurate pass to Ryan Butler in the flat, and he doing the rest to get a manageable second down coming up. No, it came up. Senior Lawrence, Kansas, speaking of KU, has a tackler defensively, so no McKee Pay, no Isaiah Tufanga, both ejected tonight. Stars and starters for the Hawaii defense for targeting calls. Yeah, to me, it's huge. I mean, not, they're, they're out the rest of this game, and they'll be out parts of the next game as well. Second down. Daniels, little heat, delivers. Another good ball. Another catch. Aya Manor. The medicine hat, Alberta's got the grab there for Stanford, but there's a flag down. Personal foul. Hands, Hands in the face. face. Offense number 61. A penalty is enforced after the distance of the goal. Repeat second down. Trevor Mayberry, the only returning starter on the offensive line for Stanford from last year's three-win team, the guilty party. Mm -hmm. That's for from Penn. 
Offensive line been pretty clean tonight. First penalty from these guys. Obvious call, hands to the face. But for the most part, their technique has been really nice in this football game. Off the penalty, Daniels dances free, picks up some yards, hit there. Taylor in the vicinity, quickly closing the gap. Logan Taylor's been something. He's a force defensively. Jacob Yoro, defensive coordinator, his third down comes up. Told us yesterday, partner that Taylor goes 100%, 100 miles an hour, even through walkthroughs. He's jacked up. Yeah, he's such a passionate player for this football team, for this university, and even for the city. And wants to make an impact on and off the field and doing it on the field tonight. Huge play, Hawaii's defense. Third and long. Daniels delivers a good ball. Short on the first down, though. Outside the 30-yard line. Catch made by Farrell. Had a touchdown run in the first half. But shy of the yard to gain there for the Cardinal. Does pick up 12, not enough. But hang on. High contact. The pedal is in for 15 yards. Automatic first down. No hole for Hawaii. A rough in the passer call and an automatic first down. Continually throughout this football game, every time this defense comes up with the stop, there's a there's a there's a flag and Listen, I know they're trying to protect quarterbacks, especially in the neck and head areas, but that one right there is not sure about that one, Dave. Plus 15, key automatic first down. And a flip script on momentum for Hawaii. Tough call, but got to keep your hands out of the shoulder and neck area of these quarterbacks. Blitz from Manuma. Daniels cannot get out of the reach there of Noah Kemma. Five tackles for loss a year ago for Hawaii's defense. And the Warriors struggled at the finish line last year also. Swept Nevada, beat UNLV and the Wolfpack in Mountain West play. That was it for Hawaii last year. Timmy Chang's first season, three wins total. They're looking to turn things around. And, and obviously with the run and shoot offense being installed and as they try to rebuild this program and get back to their winning ways. Certainly want to recruit here in town and bring in some of the best players. Play fake. Daniels, here comes some pressure. Throws on the move. Humphrey's intended target. That's broken up incomplete. That was a really nice play there. I believe that was Caleb Brown being able to go stride for stride with his wide receiver there across the field. A lot of times for, for corners, it's really tough to guard and man coverage across the field. But Caleb Brown that time able to stick to his receiver and make a play. And now we're in another third down. JC transfer, Butler Community College. And Aniston, Alabama. Big PBU. Stanford 6 of 11 third downs tonight. Hawaii's defense needs something here. Pressure. Daniels evasive. Deep ball. Incomplete. Moody and Rubin, but a flag is down. And the guy who's made that great play in Brown will get the P.I. And it's going to be another automatic stand for first down. Pass interference. Defense number 13. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Well, you saw Hawaii's defense bring some pressure. They blitz both the inside linebackers, and one almost got home. Ashton Daniels able to make him miss. The corner there, Caleb Brown just panicked at the end right there, reaching his arms out. I understand he's trying to make a play. Just got to play with a little bit better technique on that. And he might have avoided a pass interference. Ten penalties on the night for the home team. Seven Textbook P.I. there. Seven last week. Mm. And back to back on third down conversion tries for Stanford. Makes it even harder to take for Timmy Chang. Rossick in motion. Butler 
Tries the right side. Dragged down from behind. Taylor was there right away for the play for Hawaii. Martin Sola's defense. Coaches say one speed for him. That's fast and faster. <laughs> I guess that's two speeds. Father of two wants to be a minister when he's done playing football and yeah. Mr. Everything for the Hawaii defense. Well, he leads his team in prayer before practice, before games. He's always the guy that if guys are having issues at home, they go talk to Logan Taylor. He's such an incredible leader for this team. Second ten for Daniels. Manuma Heat on the blitz again. Catch made, knee down, 26-yard line. There from Alec Iowa Manor. I think uh, this third and short situation coming up for Stanford. Probably see a quarterback power here. Ash and Daniels will take the snap and get behind those big fellas up front and just try to push for it for a first down. I think that's what we're going to see coming up. Third catch of the night. Eric Aya Manor. Third and very short here for Stanford. One play. It's Urban. First touch of the game. Loses yardage. Goes backwards. Verno Edwards, the second, was there along with Kemba and Taylor. It's a loss of one. I'm, su I'm surprised at this call, but it worked earlier where they've got the formation in tight. And then they give it to a speedster to get around the corner. This time, Irvin not able to get a first down there. Nice job again by Hawaii. Cardi up for the field goal try here on fourth and two. This from 46. Trying for his third of the night. Continues the streak. That's 21 in a row, dating back to last year for Joshua Cardi. First team All American kicker for Troy Taylor. Sports Network is sponsored by Marco's. Pizza lovers get it. By Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. And by My Plan from Verizon. The plan for fans. The HP Highland Park, Texas. Buddy Bowl involved from the vision of a 14-year-old North Texas middle school football player named Braden Shager. 12-year-old sister Brielle. They were sitting around the Breakfast table one day, talking about how football is king in Texas, but special needs athletes don't have a chance for a bowl game and help create that with his family. Pretty cool. Stone, looks for a good run back for Hawaii. Kickoff. Shy of the 20. And Hawaii and Shager take over first and 10. Amazing to see that he and his family got involved with that at such a young age for Braden Shager. Yeah, I mean, such an incredible kid. Had a chance to talk to him yesterday and I asked him what attracted him to want to come to Hawaii. You know, he talked about this community and this coaching staff and, you know, the opportunity to obviously have a successful career. And, you know, so far, so good. You know, towards the end of the season, played really well last year, playing so so well so far this year and looking to continue it. 60 passing yards starting this drive. Hawaii needs a lot here from Nishigaya, who does have a catch. Driven out of bounds outside the 20, about the 23-yard line. Well, I think Hawaii is in a situation now that they've got to play a little bit faster, get up to the line of scrimmage. You see them in that hurry-up offense, not huddling. Schrager directing traffic there from the line of scrimmage. Well, the pick up a four. Hines tries the middle, gets hit hard. Big game tonight from A.K. Gilman, the native of Oahu, has shown up and then some for Stanford. I mean, every time he makes a tackle, you just hear the boom. You hear the the pads popping up here, don't you? He's been all over the field tonight. Been a playmaker in the tackling game for this defense. Gain of three. Six tackles tonight for Stanford. Third down. Pressure off the edge again. Low ball. Catch for Perry. And a first down for Hawaii. Getting the chains moving. Ball out quick. Shager showing the poise with the defender in his face. Still delivering the ball on time for a first down. 10-5, change move, much needed here for Hawaii. 
Outside the 30 for Shager. Bailey, some pressure again. Pocket collapses again. Shager's been on the move all night. And lost that one out of bounds. Avoiding a sack. Well, they're in the situation. They have to pass the football, and Stanford knows it and makes it a lot tougher. You got these guys dropping in coverage right there. He's looking for his receiver there on the right side. He's double teamed. There's nowhere to throw the football right now. And, you know, Stanford, for the most part in this secondary, has been pretty, pretty stout. Second down. A blitz for the linebackers. Nishigaya has another catch for Hawaii. Another Rainbow Warrior first down. Now, this is really nice by Shager. One of the things that I like about Braden Shager is his poise in the pocket, his progression through the pocket. You see him looking to his left, coming back to the middle to find his open target there in the middle of the field, and then Nishigaya doing the rest. Well, Nishigai had six catches all last year, four tonight. Here's a drop. Incomplete ball there. Chuki Hines running before he had it for Hawaii. Yeah, I think he, I think he saw some real estate in front of him. And Come up next, Robert. Take you into the studio for a breakdown of tonight's action around the nation. Don't miss Inside College Football. You're on CBS Sports Network. Brent Stover, Kevin Carter, Christian Fourier, Beanie Wells standing by. Some great insight on the way. Yeah, saw some real estate in front of him there, that last drop. See if they can make up for it here on second down. Lost two time for White. Bailey gets home again. And rushes that pass intended for solo by Pulu. Bailey, a little slow to get up for Stanford. Has had a huge game for the Cardinal. Five tackles, two sacks for Bailey so far. And that was another QBH quarterback hurry against Brayden Shager. Well, he's been in the backfield all night. Stanford trainers, a 10 of the star pass rusher here. Timeout in Honolulu. To Hawaii wildfires by going to redcross.org. Or text Hawaii to 90999 to donate $10. We're down. Rainbow Warriors and Shager. Bailey helped off by trainers. Not back in the field for that play. And Hines can't make the catch. On a must-do conversion for Hawaii. A couple drops tonight for Tylen Hines. Hines that time. A lot of real estate in front of him. Would have been a big play for Hawaii on a third down. A third down that they desperately need right now in this moment in time. Of the football game and continued struggles for Hines. Second, fourth down conversion attempt tonight for Hawaii. Shager. Rainbow Warriors need it. Pressure's coming. Down he goes again. Sacked by Stanford's Scotty Edwards. Safety blitz. And the sophomore from Utah all over Shager. That time Edwards comes on a safety blitz and a rare miss by Valpulu. His responsibility, as you see it here, he's supposed to come across the formation and block that safety. That's his guy. Not able to get across and ends up resulting in a sack. Four Stanford sacks tonight. The latest from the safety, Edwards. And on a short field. Justin Daniels and company take over. Sophomore from Georgia has been excellent tonight. First career start for Stanford. A lot of positivity in Palo Alto watching this team play. Butler hit by Taylor at the line of scrimmage. Initial contact gets to the 30. Gain of one on first down. Time getting downhill. Ryan Butler, nothing much there. Hawaii defensive line been pretty good all night long. Giving up a couple runs around the edge, but I'll tell you what, this middle of the defense has been pretty stout. 
381 total yards tonight for Stanford. 145 on the ground. And Troy Taylor's first game as play caller. First head coaching job FPS level after great results at Sac State. FCS playoffs a couple times. Quarterfinals. Butler gets loose. Judge through traffic. Big pickup for Stanford. Runs strong, runs through arm tackles of Hawaii. Ryan Butler getting a real estate stop by Smith. Heck of a run by Ryan Butler here. Inside handoff, finds a lane, presses the hole. Once he gets through, bounces it to the outside, finding some space and getting downhill for another explosive run for Stanford offense. Clock rolls, not under two minutes yet. So no play stoppage after the 17-yard gain. And Daniels will watch this clock go down to two before a timeout call by Troy Taylor. Second timeout, second half for Stanford. Timeout. timeout. Stanford, Stanford. they're second of the half. Timeout on the field. Back to Honolulu in a moment. Ask the Daniels and company in control. Beautiful Waikiki Beach, Honolulu, Hawaii. On Oahu, it's Stanford by two scores. Big news today, Robert, Cal, Stanford, SMU from the AAC. They're off to the ACC starting next year. They'll stay in the Power Five as the Pac-12 disintegrates over the last few weeks. And as we mentioned, we talked to Coach Troy Taylor about this, and he simply said Stanford should be a Power Five school, and they are. On the timeout. End zone, open, Humphreys, touchdown! Ashton Daniels hits John Humphreys by himself, and the Cardinal has six more. What a dart right there by Ashton Daniels, rolling to his right, finding a wide open target in the back of the end zone. Here it is right here, boom. Rolling out to his right. Sees his target there in the back of the end zone. Wide open for a touchdown. John Humphreys getting the score. 29 catches a touchdown for Humphreys last year. Second leading receiver behind Urasik coming back. No problem on the PAT for Joshua Cardi. You know, Dave. We talk about the inexperience of these quarterbacks. 15 total attempts for these guys. Amazing. That quarterback room last, last year. season. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't know it tonight. You'd have no idea. Ashton Daniels has played an excellent, excellent football game. 22 total attempts in their careers heading into the game tonight. Wow. And Coach Taylor told us it was between Ashton Daniels and Justin Lambs in the Syracuse transfer to be the starting quarterback for Stanford. A secret no longer. He's on tape now, right? Yeah. And man, yeah. that he delivered his first career start. And he also mentioned that we might see both guys tonight. And essentially, we didn't do that. Love the way that this offense has attacked this group. 15 runs, 15 passes. You talk about the balance that this Stanford offense has been able to have in this football game. And it's really been a huge reason why they've been so successful. QB2, Lamson tonight. Patu, the third quarterback. Lamson's never had a college snap. Redshirt at Syracuse, then tore his ACL. Never played for Dino Babers. See Stanford forcing returns here. Stone, some good speed. Rung up outside the 20, down he goes. And Stanford, 522 away from the return charter flight to Northern California with a pace turning type win. And this is big here. Cam Stone, I believe, is slow to get up here for a while. That is terrible news. He's been brilliant his first two games as a Rainbow Warrior. Well, you saw him get spun around there in the tackle, and it may have caused some discomfort for him. Timmy Chang told us yesterday the best get they had in the portal in the offseason. All Mountain West performer for Craig Ball at Wyoming. The 
Not up yet. Also might have targeting on this play. Matt Rose, linebacker. Of Ohio is being looked at for possible targeting. Looks like he did leave with a crown on the helmet. Was head to head contact on Cam Stone. Might have a third ejection tonight. Possibly. That's a lot, Robert. It's a lot of ejections in one night, but, you know, it's been a point of emphasis going into this season. Leading with the crown of the helmet, protecting defenses players, defense list After players. Review. Personal foul. Personal foul. Targeting with the crown of the helmet. Kicking team number 35. 15 yard penalty will be added to the end of the return. First down, Hawaii. Number 35 sure has been disqualified. That rose out. Rexville, Ohio, sophomore. Didn't have any tackles last year. That's got to be so tough to take for Troy Taylor. Will not be available for the first half of the next game for Stanford. And Cam Stone being helped off by teammates and trainers. That's even worse news on the Hawaii side. I mean, despite what, where we are score wise, you know, Cam Stone has had a really nice game tonight on defense. He's really been one of the constants for this team all night long. The Rose done for the night. Pay and Tufanga. Ejected for targeting as well on the Hawaii side. Shaking the offense takeover. McBride has the catch. And a good pickup on first down. First drive, Dave, all night long that Hawaii has started past the 30 tonight. Mm. So they haven't had great field position, but nice pitch and catch there on first down. Number nine, good connection. A little pressure again. Some heat. Shager can't get to the first down marker. Feeling pressure from Gaithan Bernadelle, the FIU transfer initially. Causing the lead of the pocket, loss of two. The Stanford defensive line been pretty consistent. Wreaking havoc in the backfield. In passing situations for Hawaii. And they've got to be more stout up front. Shager will go. Gimpy after that hit as well. Maslock has the catch. Lodges Ford does have a first down for Hawaii. The chains move here for the Rainbow Warriors. Jaden Slocum, the nickelback. Uh, Alpharetta Georgia has the tackle for Stanford. Gain of five. Right, trying to make some noise here. Desperate opportunity, or at least hope to avoid the 0-2 start on the year. Jager, great coverage again. Means that he is coming again, and he lost out of bounds. It's been a headline all night, Robert. It's coverage no down foul. the field. I mean, for intentional grounding, the ball is thrown beyond the line of scrimmage, and the quarterback was outside the pocket. Not intentional grounding there, but this coverage down the field by the Stanford defense. I mean, he just can't find anybody. Allowing these defenders to get in the backfield and forcing him to throw it away. Nobody open. Second down. Shager. Time. Shager. Deep ball. Incomplete. That was just short. Wilson Papuna was down there. Looked like they had two guys really in the same area. I know some of the fans are wanting a pass interference call right there. Ball a little too short for a P.I. Didn't really make too much an effort to get back to the ball. Nice play on defense. Sets up third and ten. Schrager and Shigaya. Busy night, big night. Nice catch and run. That's a nice job by Nishigaya there, getting the catch over the middle of the field. We've seen this a couple times now. Tonight, Nishigaya finds some space in the middle of the field, gets the catch, and then gets the yak yards after the catch, and that time for a first down. Chain over for Hawaii tonight. I'm going to walk on. 
He's been a big star. Deep ball, Shager again. Tries there for McBride, but good coverage step for step. All right. I haven't mentioned his name a lot from Manville, Texas, but the coaches raved about him, Robert, in the meetings we had with him yesterday. They think Wright is a sure thing NFL prospect. Oh, they sure do. And they talked about how they like to utilize him. They say, look, if you got a top wide receiver on your team, we're going to put Colin Wright on him. We believe in, in him that much. Right side, left side, nickel. He can do it all. Four star high school recruit for Stanford. Here's second down. Here's Shager again. Hines this time, sure handed. Makes a nice grab. Keeps on truck and avoids the tackle. Gates and Burnell before being dropped. Good catch and run there from Hines. Yeah, finally getting loose there. And the catch in the middle of the field, making a couple guys miss, trying to get downhill. And critical fourth down coming up. Eventually tackled by Slocum, gain of nine. Hawaii, of course, got to have this one. Hines has the catch, spins ahead. But he stopped shy of the marker. The last play was first down. Yeah, it looked like it was a first down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Chains moved on, moved on us a little late there. Nice play, getting the ball out quick on the screen. Get downhill for five yards there on first down. Second down here for Shager. He'll roll right again. Nishigaya this time. Wrong up on a hard hit. Slocum was there and it made immediate contact on Nishigaya. Going for another grab tonight. That's a tough play right there. Credit Nishigaya's toughness. As a quarterback, you never want to put any of your receiving targets in harm's way, but that's just football right there. Nice defensive play. Six catches for Nishigaya tonight, 52 yards. 11th play of the Hawaii drive coming up on third and six. And, and where's the sense of urgency for this Hawaii offense. Don't really see it. Here's Shager. Some pressure. Flushed. Hines. Little shovel grab. Makes a nice move. A good pick up inside the 10. Tylen Hines with some shake. Tylen showing his quickness there. Getting the catch out of the backfield. Boom. Checks it down. Makes a nice move on the defender. Getting as many yards as possible, and now Hawaii's here in, in goal line situation with the, a chance to punch it in. Game of 18, tracked down eventually by Tristan Sinclair. Linebacker for Stanford. Here's first down. Here's Shager. End zone, incomplete. Ashlock should have had that one. That was a rare drop by Ashlock. I mean, he's been a short target so far this season, and you see him right here. Starts on the outside, breaks it in. Shager delivers an on target ball on time and just goes through his hands. Second out. Shager ends off. Incomplete. In the corner. Nice luck again, the antenna receiver. This one not as easy. A <laughs> grab. Yeah, that time tried him again and just a tad out of his reach. Back to back like, big games for Ashlock, though, oh to yeah. begin his career at Hawaii. I like the idea there, trying to get to the corner, but just missed his target. But yeah, Ashlock, I mean, he's, for the most part, been a steady hand in the young career for this offense. Third and goal for Hawaii. Jagger, pressure. And down he goes. Bailey again. Back from injury. And back to wreak havoc in the Hawaii backfield. Third nine, sack nine, of the nine, game nine, for nine, Bailey. Hawaii, their first of the half. Timeout. 30 seconds. We'll take a timeout, too. Fourth and goal coming up for Shager and company. Trap or beef jerky. Austin Daniels, first career start. Fantastic. Coach Troy Taylor kept it a secret. Did not tell the media, did not tell us in our meetings yesterday. He said, but you're going to be very impressed with this young man when he gets out there. And he has delivered in a big way tonight. He's delivered in a huge way. And I tried to get it out of Coach Taylor last night, but he wouldn't budge. We tried. We tried.
Ashton Daniels came out playing like an upperclassman tonight. You never thought he was inexperienced. He's played a heck of a game tonight. All right. Off the timeout. Fourth and goal here. Was last gasp in this one. Jager ends on the rivers. Touchdown. Ashlock's got this one. Second touchdown of the game tonight for Popola Ashlock. That right there was a strike. Could have been intercepted by the defense, but a heck of a throw by Braden Shader. A.K. Gilman, the safety, looked like he could have made a play on that football. But just too good right there, Braden Shager connecting with his top target so far this season, Pofile Ashlock. Two nice straight games to begin his career, 100 plus yards receiving. We'll go for two here, a minute eight to go. Fourth quarter, Hines flanks Shager. Try for two. Jager, time, loss, end zone, and complete. By as much time as he possibly could. Try to hit Devin Tawa But there's a flag down. Holding. Defense, number 43. Penalties, of course, half the distance to the goal. Replay the try. Norman calls Stanford on the two-point try, so they'll have one more crack at it. And Timmy Chang elects to go for two again. Look for... This could be Dalen Dalen, Morris coming yeah. in. Yep, the transfer from Navy, who's just an incredible story. A full-time Naval Intelligence Officer, Ooh. who also is a full-time student, which you have to be to play Division One football here in a graduate program at Hawaii. Well, if he's on the field, they like to use him in this wildcat formation. Look for him to catch the snap here. They're probably sitting high as in motion. He's either going to flip it to him or fake it to him and run it himself. Morris touchdown last week at Van. He goes for two here. He's in. How about that? Graduate of the Naval Academy, second lieutenant in the United States Navy, full-time intelligence officer, full-time student here at Hawaii, and a pretty good quarterback, too. How he manages both, we'll never know. But <laughs> Nice play there. Like I mentioned, they love to use him in that wildcat formation. Had a touchdown against Vanderbilt last year. Coming through again tonight. And here we see Shager delivering that on-target ball. You love to see the accuracy for the touchdown. And then again, here, Aylin Morris on the two-point conversion, getting downhill and converting. That is time management right there, that young man. So impressive. Timmy Chang told us yesterday he'll go right from practice in his fatigues to his assignment here in Hawaii, which is classified intelligence. Can't talk about it to anybody, but he loves to see his players see Morris dressed in his military uniform for the structure and the dedication to our nation's freedom. Pretty cool. Absolutely. Falcons line up here for an onside kick. In a two-score game with a minute eight to go. White trying to get it back in really close last week to get the onside kick at Vandy. This one is untouched out of bounds. And we'll go back to Stanford. Chance to salt this one away and break the long losing streak. Five games to finish out the run for David Shaw. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. The penalty being forced five yards from the out of bounds spot. First down, Stanford. Daniel Stats, fabulous tonight. Last win for Stanford, partner, October 22nd, a 15-14 home win against Arizona State, their lone Pac-12 win of the year last year. Well, breaking the... They're feeling good right they now, Palo Alto. Feeling good. They, they should be feeling good. This coaching staff, these players, and the Stanford Cardinal fans. You know, when, when, when Coach Taylor got hired, I really felt like it was the right choice for Stanford. And I think you're seeing an, an example of it tonight that you know, this program is is really headed in the right direction. Tanner McKee, two-year starter, draft pick of the Eagles this past year, threw for 3,000 yards in three years. 
You know, we've talked about the recruiting aspect for Stanford and you know, Coach Troy Taylor. He mentioned you know, he doesn't want to be too involved in the transfer portal, probably get a handful of guys every year, but wants to focus on building this program through high school recruits and developing guys that way. Justin Lampson does get his first career snaps. Backup quarterback for Troy Taylor. Takes a knee, and Stanford, the losing streak over from last year. The Troy Taylor era starts in style with a road win in a very tough place to play against a talented Hawaii team in the Mountain West. Cardinal 1-0. A great start with their brand-new head coach leading the program. Heck of a start for Stanford. I mean, if you're a fan of this, a fan of this program, You've got to be ecstatic with this performance tonight and the direction that this program is headed. We talked about them going to the ACC now. It's a big day for Stanford. A huge day, huge day. Getting a win, snapping a five-game losing streak. A lot of positives going on for this program right now. Cardinal 4-0 all-time head-to-head with White. Played for a long time until this game tonight. Daniels kept under wraps who the starting quarterback would be. Troy Taylor told us yesterday that Daniels knew about a couple weeks back just wasn't made public in any way. But the secret is out. And Daniels clearly a major talent in what will be the last year of the Pac-12 as we know it. Well, he was excellent tonight. I mean, he showed the poise of an upperclassman. And he showed the accuracy of a good quarterback. Very elusive. You know, Coach Troy Taylor talked about functional movement, having a quarterback who can have functional movement. I asked him, what does that mean? Just being elusive enough to be able to avoid pressure, utilize your feet within this offense, and Ashton Daniels has done more than that tonight. 291 all-purpose yards for him. Troy Taylor joining us now on the field. Coach, what a start to the new era for Stanford. What a day. Yeah. You're going to the ACC and you get a win <laughs> or losing streak at the end of the David Shaw era is over. Tell us how you put this win together. What were the keys? It was, yeah, it's a, it's a good day all in all. Um, just really proud of our guys. It, they've worked really hard. You know, since we came in as a staff in December, they've done nothing but accept us, do everything we've asked them to do, and now they're rewarded with a, with a nice win. And Hawaii, man, what a great effort. They're a tough team and just continued to persevere through the entire game. But really, really proud of our guys. We talked about the young quarterback room that you had, and you couldn't tell tonight with the way Ashton Daniels played. He looked like an upperclassman. Talk about him, coach. Yeah, just, uh, you know, obviously very talented young man. I thought his demeanor was great throughout the entire game, made great decisions, took care of the football, uh, and, and gave us a chance. You know, it wasn't, wasn't always pretty, obviously. We got, you know, a lot to improve on, but uh, really proud of him and all of our guys. As promised, Ben Urasik had another big night for you. All-American yeah. all type player. Uh, what does he offer your offense? Oh man, he's just obviously saw the great ball skills that he has when it, the, you know, the 50-50 balls. Just the opportunity to go and make those plays. He does a good job in the run game, and he's fantastic after the catch. So he was a huge, uh, a huge player for us today. Nine catches, 188 yards, and a touchdown for you as well. So you, heading back to Northern California with a 1-0 record. We know the Pac-12 is disintegrating before our eyes, but. You're focused on this season. What's the best way to eliminate the noise with all the realignment and your and your team, Coach? You know, they guys have done a great job. They've been focused all the, all through the whole thing. We talked about it very briefly. Obviously, you know, we're really excited about heading to the ACC next year. But we got a whole season in front of us, and we're going to enjoy this tonight, and then fly back tomorrow, and then we'll get ready for whoever we, we play next week. Coach, thanks for your time. Thank you very much, thanks, Coach Roy Taylor, first year head coach, first win at Stanford. A great start and a great day for the Cardinal program here. No question about that. A.K. Gilman, Hawaii native, celebrates with family and friends. Now for Robert Turbin, the entire CBS Sports Network crew. It's Dave Ryan saying so long and aloha from Honolulu. It's been a presentation of CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. After a break, we'll send it to Brent Stover and the gang in our New York studio. Stanford and Troy Taylor 1-0. They're headed to the ACC next year, and they've got a season-opening win.